Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do a video on these Edwards pull stations I just got. This right here is a 274-111. So this is a very interesting pull station. I think it's a pretty old design, but it was just so interesting that I thought it was worth making a video about. So here we are. So the first thing I'd like to mention is that this is a fully plastic pull station. It operates just like a lot of pull stations around this time. You just pull the front down and then the whole cover opens. And then you can see this is the internals. The button right here is really interesting. It's just like this. It um, has an external spring and it's also made of plastic, but it's just a plunger that gets pushed in. And then when the cover is pulled out, it releases. So this pull station is just really interesting. It actually took me a couple minutes to figure out how this thing even worked. Because um, initially when I was resetting it, like you don't have to actually have a key or anything. You can just see there's these little tabs here that grip onto the housing right here and you literally just push it back together and it's reset. It sounds like you're gonna break it, but it's really just because it's a fully plastic pull station and the build quality probably isn't that great anymore after all these years. Now, the backside, you know, pretty similar. It looks like this has some options for this model to be um, like two stage or whatever maybe two contacts but uh again this is just a standard conventional model um so it turns out there's this hole on the front and you're actually supposed to use a reset tool to reset this pull station so when you pull it out which is really annoying to do um this pull station is not very new anymore what you're really doing is just pulling this cover off of this plastic here these hooks here don't even seem to do anything um like, if you actually look at what it corresponds to on the housing, it doesn't do anything. I don't even know why these are here. I think this might just be to uh, hold the um, what, the uh, top terminals back here on. But it turns out you're supposed to stick something through this hole. And then it's supposed that thing that you stick in is supposed to be a tool that they supply. And that's supposed to go into this hole here. And it's really hard to see on camera, but there's this little tab right there that stops this plunger from going in. Let me sh like zoom in so you can see. Here's definitely a better angle of what I mean. There's this little plastic tab on the side here. So what this is supposed to do is be a locking mechanism and prevent you from pushing this button back in. But what it's really actually doing is just not doing anything because you can still push this button in all, in all the way. It's just a really weak locking mechanism you know, to rely on this piece of plastic. So the original design is that once you pull this housing out, you can't push this cover back on because this um, this little button won't go all the way in. But in reality, you can bypass that so easily because this little tab doesn't really do anything. Um, but originally the design was you stick something through that hole and then through the hole in the button. And then what you would be doing is pushing down that tab and then allowing that button to go in. Um, but Again, really bad design, doesn't really work. So the way to reset it is really just to clamp it back together with your hand. There you go. And it's not just with this one too. You know, I have this one right here, exact same pull station, pull on it. Really difficult to pull by the way. They're just really annoying, not very good. And it's not just this one, you know, this one you pull out like this and then you can just reset it like this. Um, you know, I have quite a few of these. They're all exactly the same as this one. They're definitely really interesting pieces of history because not every day that you have a pole station like this, it is just so different from any other design. Like we have this thing right here, which, you know, more modern plastic style, but this is just a very interesting version of a pull out style pole station. This also is a Canadian pole station. You know, you don't really see these around here in the United States. Um, I think back in the day, Canada did really like these pull-out style pull stations. I'll see if I can dig up a couple more that are activated similar to this one. So we have a couple like this. This is a really common thing I see. So this is a pull-out tab style pull. But this one is also like metal, and it's actually acceptable quality. Not great, because I know this metal tab will loosen over time, but that's how that is. Now I'm not even going to bother resetting that. Here's a slightly different style. This one is made by Edwards. Um, but again, this is a fully metal pull station, but the concept is similar. You just pull out and then you can see there's a metal tab inside and a button. But again, the main thing with these is that you need a screwdriver, as you can see by the illustration, to stick into this hole and then put it back on the tab. Whereas 
this thing right here is literally just plastic and you have to stick a pin in there to get that little tab down or you know if you're just like realistic you would just close that up and it's good to go i went ahead and hooked this up to a um genesis horn stirrup of course the genesis isn't really correct to the time period this pull station would be in but you know nevertheless let's go ahead and test it uh, i think it's probably pretty unlikely that i'll be able to pop this pull station with one hand but let's go ahead and just give it a shot Yeah, so you definitely can't pull this with one hand when it's not attached to anything. So I went ahead and just set the camera up, but we'll go ahead and pull it. All right, there you go. So that's how that works. Of course, when you pull it, it releases the button. Another note is that I just found this one. This one's at 274-111, and it literally is the exact same pull station. I don't know what the difference is between this one and the 274-101, um, but interesting little note there. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.